Hi, I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures. I appreciate you guys watching. If you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe as well as give it a thumbs up. A question that I seem to get a lot more often these days are for people who are maybe a little bit older and they're wondering about getting into the industry and if they're too old to do it. Now, this is just my own opinion. Everyone is different and I definitely don't want to crush anyone's dreams. So take this with a grain of salt. But if you're in your 50s, for me personally, this is not something that I would want to get into. I'm hoping to maybe slow down a little bit in my 50s. But again, that's just me. I know a lot of people that are in their 50s and 60s that can go set up to sundown, no problem. But if I was just starting into this industry and I was 52, 53, it could be a little bit harder to, I guess, kind of work into that mentality of sitting in the airplane all day and just going nonstop all day. Uh, something else to think about as well is that, like I've said in my other videos, you're going to probably spend at least one season on the ground with an operator who's going to be getting to know you and seeing if they want to put you in an airplane. So count one season loading on the ground, not making much money. And then the season after that, if you're lucky, getting into an aircraft, and it's going to probably be a smaller, slower aircraft, so it's not going to hold as much liquid, which means you're not going to be able to get quite as much work done, which translates into income. So for those first, call it three years, first season loading, then two years in a slower, smaller airplane, you're probably not making a lot of money. This isn't a problem if you, if you saved up, maybe you have a savings that you can live off of a little bit. You're going to make some money. You're just not going to make a lot of money. Probably not enough maybe to live on. I guess it depends. If you don't have a family that you're supporting, um, it may not be that big of a deal. But it's just going to take you a few years to work into something where you're actually making an income that maybe you can live off of. So at that point, if you're, say, 55 getting in, uh, into this, that puts you at maybe around 58 that you're starting to make money. I mean, only you know yourself, but I personally would not want to be getting into this at that age. Maybe if you're already into it and everything's happening and you're flowing with it, maybe not the end of the world. But if you're just getting into it, you're learning all of it, I think that's where it can maybe have a little bit more of an impact. I would be looking at some other career. And I, if you want to fly, fly for fun. But that also does not count the fact that maybe you don't already have your ratings and you're going to need to spend in those three years. On top of that, you're going to need to spend some time getting your ratings. So how many years do we have here? Maybe four or five before you're actually into it, saying that you're going to go get your ratings as well as work on the ground loading and then work in a smaller aircraft before maybe you move into a turbine. So say four or five years. So now you really have to question is if it's something that you want to do as well as the money spent on getting your ratings if you don't already have them. But don't let me burst your bubble. I don't want to crush your dream. So if you guys want to go after it, do it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And I'll get back to you. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Ag Aviation Adventures. Callie is always posting on Instagram during the spray season. So even if we're not getting on YouTube and publishing a bunch. She's doing quite a bit on Instagram. You can always find us over there. I appreciate you guys again watching. Fly low and fly fast.